let's look at fraction busting. If we have a problem that is, for example, 2 and 1 third x plus 5 sixths equals 3 eighths, we can fraction bust to make this problem a lot easier. If you can imagine that this problem would be quite difficult to solve because it involves quite a bit of multiplying and dividing, adding, subtracting fractions all over the place. Well, first thing we want to do is make sure all numbers are improper fractions or whole numbers. So 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So this becomes 7 thirds x plus 5 6 equals 3 eighths. And then we need to find the lowest common multiple of the denominators. And one way to do that is to make an L chart of the first two numbers. And so 3 goes into that. And so this LCM is 6. So we take 6, which is our LCM, and then the third denominator, and 8. And we say, oh, well, that's 3 and that's 4. And so the LCM of 3 and 6 is 6, and then we take 6 and 8, and that becomes 24, because 2 times 3 times 4 is 24. So that's one way to do it. So this gives us an LCM of 6 for the first two numbers. That goes here, and then this 8 comes up here. I know that sounds a little confusing, but we'll look at another example later. So now I know 24 is my LCM. And so what I'm going to do is multiply the whole thing by 24. And this is kind of weird notation. It's, it's not really standard notation. But you can think about this as distributive property-like. And so I'm going to distribute this 24 to each of the three terms. And I can say 24 divided by 3. Notice I'm doing the divided by first because that makes sense to make it easier. 24 divided by 3 is 8. 8 times 7 is 56. And we can't forget the x. And then 24 divided by 6 is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. Notice I did the divided by 6 first and then multiplied by the numerator. And then 24 divided by 8 because I'm dividing by the denominator, is 3, and then times the numerator, 3 times 3 is 9. And so now we have a much easier problem to solve, and we have this 56x plus 20 equals 9, and we can get rid of all this other stuff. Let's get rid of all of this, and I'm just going to put this up a little bit higher. And somehow I lost my 9, but that's okay. And now we can solve this, subtract 20 from both sides, and I get 56x equals negative 11. And so then divide both sides by 56. And I get x equals negative 11 over 56 which seems really, really much easier than doing this first problem. I want you to remember that this problem and this problem are equivalent problems. All we did was fraction bust, and I sure would rather do the second problem than the first problem. So let's take a look at another one. And how about if we have one, oops, one and two-thirds x minus three-fourths equals five-sixths. So again, this would be a difficult problem to do um, if we just left it as fractions, but we're going to make it improper first. So three times one is three plus two is five. So this becomes five-thirds x minus three-fourths equals 5 6 and we can look and see that the lowest common denominator of 3 and 4 or lowest common multiple that one has no common so we just put a 1 3 and 4 it's the only time we ever put a 1 there and then we take 1 times 3 is 3 times 4 is 12 so we take that 12 
and then our third number and six, and we see six goes into both of those, and that's two and one, and so six times two is 12 times one is, is 12, and so we can multiply through by 12. And so then 12 divided by three is four, four times five is 20, so this becomes 20x minus, and then 12 divided by four, Let's see how we're taking that 12 and dividing it by four is three times the numerator is three times three is nine. And so we get minus nine because we keep that minus and then 12 divided by six is two times five is 10. A lot easier problem. I want you to remember that this problem is equivalent to this problem and I sure as heck would rather solve the second problem. So then we solve the second problem. We can add nine to both sides. Poof, that goes away. We get 20x equals 19. Divide both sides by 20. And you get x equals 19 twentieths. Pretty straightforward. Any questions on that? Just rewind the video and take a look. Let's see if you can do one by yourself. Two and three fifths x plus one and one tenth equals. 3 fifteenths. So let's take a look at this. So 2 times 5 is 10. So that's 13x over 5. And pause it if you uh, haven't done so already. So you can see if you can do this. Make them all improper first. Then we find the lowest common denominator. In this case, the lowest common denominator is 30. So we're gonna multiply through by 30. And we got that 30 because we did five, 10. Five goes into that once and twice. So that gives us an LCM of 10. And 10 and 15 gives us, let's see, five goes into both those two and three. 5 times 2 is 10, times 3 is 30. That's how we get 30. So 30 divided by 5 is 6. 6 times 13 is 78. X plus 33, because 30 divided by 10 is 3. 3 times 11 is 33 equals, and 30 divided by 15 is 2, times 3 is 6, and so then we subtract 33 from both sides, and we get 78x equals negative 27. I'm going to make this all a tiny bit smaller because I'm running out of room. I divide both sides by 78, and I get x equals negative 27 over 78 and then I divide both by 3 and I get 26 uh, let's see I have to make it smaller again I get x equals negative 26 over uh, not not negative 26 negative 9 over 26, because 27 divided by 3 is 9, 78 divided by 3 is 26, and that is as simplified as it gets. So our answer is negative 9 over 26, and that's it.